Dunlop Tyres are proud sponsors of the BTCC. Well, it was up when we spoke to him on the warm-up lap, but it doesn't look good. He's got the advantage at the moment, but closing on the brakes is Gordon Shedden, who asserts his authority, stamps it on the inside of Beckett. There is Matt Neal. Goodness me. Matt Jackson is out of the race. He is angry beyond belief as he tours down the outside of the Wellington Strait and pulls off. I've never seen that this year. Qualifying yesterday with an all-new British Touring Car lap record around this Silverstone 1.6-mile circuit. He accelerates through Woodcut here at Silverstone to take his fifth victory of the season. And here we go with round 26. We're underway. Matt Neal jumps out of the way. He sees it. Good driving. They're going to go side by side through Luffield, but Welch is going to get this. He's got a great drive down into Brooklands again. He parks it on the inside, and there's nowhere to go for Rob Austin. He's got a fire! He's, He's got, got a fire, fire like Gordon left. Shedden had at Snetterton in practice, and the car is alight, and Matt Neal is going to be non-scoring here. He might not know it's on fire because it's on the other he side. He needs to stop that car immediately. As we're back racing here at Silverstone, Jason Plato leads over the line from Rob Collard, from Dave Newsham, from Aaron Smith, from Matt Jackson. The 99 car that was leading has, 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 is rolling. I think he might be picking it up. He's going so slowly. Matt Jackson now leads the race. What a fantastically controlled drive by Matt Jackson. He started 17th and he wins. We are getting ready for our third and final race here at Silverstone. We've got Foster on the pole position from Andrew Jordan, Daniel Welch and Gordon Shedden on the second row of the grid. Look at that lead. Shedden's up a position already. He's third. That's Matt Neal. It is Matt Neal. Matt Neal non-scoring here today in all three races. Goes one way, then the other. Will we be able to cut it back? It's a carbon copy tip. Yeah, he's got that move down absolutely off pack now to get across the inside of the curve at Luffield, get the nose of the car inside. But, I mean, this the way he's driven to the front of this race has been exemplary. Jackson goes through ahead of Foster. He's managed to do it. Up to second place. Plato is already over the line. His lead now ahead of Matt Jackson. Four full seconds. Jason Plato, what a drive. 20th position on the grid. He comes through to dominate here. Well, Gordon, you had a three-point lead coming into this weekend. That lead is now 15 points. So on paper it looks good, but it has been slightly frustrating at times, hasn't it? Yeah, you know, on, on paper it's an increase in the lead of the championship, which is fantastic going to the last rounds. But in reality, it's been a very tough weekend. I think, uh, you know, the straight line performance of our car has been non-existent. And um, I don't think I've, I've raced three touring car races looking in my mirrors as much in my life. It was, uh, yeah, as a racing driver, you want to race to go forward and to, to improve. And today I've raced not to go backwards, which is a kind of strange state of affairs to be in. What do you think the situation is going to be in that respect when we get to Grand Hatch? Well, there's going to be a few boost, uh, I think, differences for Brands Hatch. I think uh, you know, some cars, you know, hopefully we get a bit of an increase, other cars will come down. Maybe that makes it a little bit, uh, you know, a, a little bit closer in terms of, uh, of straight line speed. And I think the Brands GP circuit will really suit the Civic. You know, we've always said the chassis is absolutely top notch. And three, you know, three straights and four corners around Silverstone, we haven't really been able to exploit our strengths. So, you know, I'm sure it's going to be a fantastic last, uh, you know, event of the championship. All to play for, you know, three of us in it. it uh, it's, going to be, it's going to be tough, it's going to be tense and, and it's going to be exciting. Well, let's bring in Jason Plato here. He's going to be one of the men that you're, you're battling against. Jason, currently you've moved up to second in the championship. It's been a good weekend here at, uh, at Silverstone for you, hasn't it? It's been a great weekend, you know. Of course, you, you know, you're always going to look back at race two and think what could have been. But that's mode racing, you know, sometimes things go wrong. The main thing with us is we're, we're ahead of schedule. This was meant to be a development learning year with the new MG6, uh, in readiness for, to mount a full campaign for next year. But, you know, the summer break was kind to us. We learned a lot about the car. And I think um, Rockingham in the dry, 
that was a clear intent of what we've managed to achieve with it. You know, we've got a great sh chassis now in the dry, and uh, and we've you know it's it's working really well. And, and and each step now we're making each race we're making little small ch changes, and I'm, I can exploit those. Whereas earlier on in the year we couldn't, we just weren't in the window. So I've got a fantastic car underneath me. Um, we've still got some liability issues we need to cure, but uh, you know, like Gordon said. You know, we've produced a fantastic fight to the end of the chat championship and there's three guys um, that can, can win the thing at Brands Hatch and that's what we all want. You know, we, 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 we want a race to try and win. And uh, I, think that's, I think we're all set for a pretty exciting Brands Hatch, if I'm honest. And we get, we're heading back to Brands' circuit where your car made its debut and it was pretty handy there. So what do you think it's like when we, when we head back, albeit to a different configuration of the Brands circuit? Well, the Grand Prix circuit brands has always been very good to me. I've won a lot of races around there. Um, and I think, if I'm really honest, that's our circuit. You know, we've got our car working so well at the moment and uh, we've got really good front grip. And uh, I think I think Rockingham race one and qualifying and also here today, we've demonstrated that that MG6, prepared and uh, engineered by Triple Eight Race Engine, is the best ch chassis on the grid. Well, Jason says, uh, that's our circuit. How do you feel about that, Gordon? It is what it is. You know, we're all going there with, uh, you know, with a chance of winning, and you know, I, you know, we'll still go there with our tails high. You know, I think the Civic has been consistently a fantastic performer all year. It's just, uh, it's got three more races to do, and uh, hopefully, get me over the line first. It sure is going to be a weekend not to miss for the fans, isn't it? Absolutely. You know, it's. I'm so glad that it's actually the the GP circuit and not the Indy circuit because I think it's a much better circuit all round for for everything. And uh, yeah, I think. It, it's going to be exciting. I think you know it's been exciting all year. We've seen lots of different cars, lots of different drivers win races. Uh, crunch time now, though, isn't it? It's all good. We look forward to seeing you both there. Cheers, guys. Yeah, Join us on ITV4 for the climax of the 2012 British Touring Car Championship. You can watch live qualifying at itv.com slash touringcars. That will be coming to you at 2.50pm on Saturday the 20th of October. Then it's over to ITV4 and ITV4 HD on Sunday the 21st from 10.30am as we bring you extended build-up to the decisive day around the Brands Hatch Grand Prix circuit. To purchase tickets for the event, you can visit www www.brandshatch.co.uk We'll see you there. Dunlop Tyres are proud sponsors of the BTCC.